Here's your latest headlines with Sierra Tufts from the Wayne.com studio. Good morning and thank you for joining us. It is Friday, August 2nd. Here are your morning headlines. A three-day stretch of hearings in Delphi for the double homicide case against Richard Allen wrapped up yesterday. Richard Allen is charged with murder in connection to the deaths of Abby Williams and Libby German. In the courtroom yesterday, Special Judge Fran Gull granted a motion to vacate the safekeeping order requested by the defense. That means Allen no longer has to be jailed in a cell by himself. It also means Allen is not returning to the Wabash Valley Correctional Facility where he's been held and will remain in the custody of the Carroll County Sheriff instead. It was not revealed where Allen will be housed. His currently his trial is currently scheduled for October. The West Central District Board is moving forward with the building of a new fire station. The board approved a build operate transfer resolution which will go next before the Allen County Council. It was a packed house at last night's public hearing with a boy in Lake Township residence along with current West Central firefighters. The board discussed and answered further questions people had, including concerns about the new station's location and cost. Members strongly believe the location they're planning is in a good spot to serve the over 20,000 residents within the district. The board revealed it hopes to share the space with other Allen County departments. We're told the build operate transfer resolution will be on the county council agenda on Wednesday, August 14th. Coming up later today, Goalball Nationals are happening at Turnstone plus Botanical Roots has returned at the Botanical Conservatory that kicks off tonight as well as the Dragon Bro races down at Promenade Park. We'll be there for all that coverage. And let's take a look at that weather forecast. The high humidity continues. We do have a chance to see some scattered showers this morning into the afternoon. Plus, it is going to be a hazy weekend, and that's not because of cloud cover. Let's take a look at Storm Tracker. You can see nothing much going on. If we get a closer look into the Fort Wayne area, we see some cloud cover and also some popping up of showers here and there. Everything very scattered, nothing uh, widespread. Uh, so if you do encounter it, it is not going to last too long but you may encounter a shower or storm here or there. Looking at our hourly planner, you can see those chances continue to increase into the afternoon hours. High temperatures today only in the lower 80s. Winds coming out of the north-northwest about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, not a lot of sunshine to be had today, but we are going to stay humid. Looking at Parkview Field, you can see a little bit of sunshine off to the east. Not too much going on right now, but uh, tin caps are in town once again and we should be able to get on the game in tonight. However, it will be steamy once again. Looking at your exclusive 10-day forecast, we've got one more day of that tropical humidity level tomorrow, uh, mid-80s, but sunshine there. Then we start to see a little bit of relief from humidity on Sunday with mid to upper 80s there. And same thing for Monday, a little less sunshine. We see another chance to see some showers and storms on Tuesday. By the time the kiddos, most kiddos in Allen County go back to school on Wednesday and Thursday, temperatures are dropping down to the mid-80s mid to upper 80s for the rest of the week and we see that continue on through next weekend we'll see you back here for our noon stream we'll also see you during the news at noon in the meantime have a great morning